All right, good people of the interweb, it's funny story time. So the year is 2004, and your boy here has got a double inguinal hernia going on. It's two inguinal hernias. So, of course, I have to have surgery. Now, at that point in time, I was not sober at all. But, you know, <clears throat> that will come into play shortly. So, uh, my best friend at the time, uh, this girl, very cool girl, um, she volunteers to take me for my surgery and stay there, you know, and, and wait because, you know, it's the same day surgery, but, you know, she's, she's there for me like the whole time. So I thought that was really cool, <clears throat> but you know, I, I finally get done with surgery. I come out from the anesthesia and everything. And, you know, she's the first thing I see. And, and she's like, Oh, great. You're alive. <laughs> So the the nurse tells me, she, she's like, look, as soon as you can walk to the bathroom and you can pee, then you can leave. And I was like, word, all I got to do is walk from here to that bathroom right there that I can see from where I am and pee and I can leave. She's like, yes. I'm like, Phew. fuck me. I'm walking to that damn bathroom. That's not really how it went down. Like, that whole, like, walking thing after hernia surgery, it didn't even work out like that. It was more of an old man, hand on my back, bent, like, literally halfway over, hobbling, one leg feeling like it's about to give out on me. Like, it felt like, oh, hey. Yeah, it, it it was miserable. I did not know what was going on. I it, it it was it was a very painful and very unpleasant journey that felt like it was gonna take forever to complete. But I finally make it to the bathroom. I make it to this bathroom, right? And I'm I'm excited. I'm like, yay, I made it to the bathroom. Well then, you know, I the pull my man parts out, you know, or part and uh I start trying to pee, and then, man, that was that was a whole other challenge I was not ready for. But I'm like, you know, I'm talking to it, you know, I'm, I'm like, hey, come on, come on, man, you can do it, come on. And I hear this like cackling, this witch-like cackling, like a hyena, and it startles me. Right, I get scared, and I turn around, and there's my friend. Up against the wall, like, <laughs> laughing. I'm like, why are you in here? She's like, I don't know, because it's funny. I'm like, it's not funny. I'm like, get the fuck out. So she's like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. So turn around, you know, I'm like, you know, I didn't even turn all the way around the first time, but, you know, so I'm I'm, I'm back to where, like, I can't see. You know, I hear the door shut and a little pitter patter and feet. I'm like, all right, we can do this. I'm like, come on, come on. I like I got my hand on the wall. I'm like, come on, just just do it. And then uh, here comes the laughing again. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And she just like falls on the floor. She's laughing so hard. Like, you know, I glance back and she's literally on the floor laughing hysterically. And I'm like, if you do not get the fuck out right now, I say like, I'm not gonna be able to pee and we're not gonna be able to leave. We're gonna be here all day and it's gonna be your fault. So she finally actually leaves and, you know, after a few more minutes, probably a good five minutes, I pee and I'm ready to go. And I'm like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. So we're in the car and we're on the way home and I'm like, I'm still pretty doped up, you know, because they gave me some good, good pain medicine. But so we're getting near my apartment and I'm like, make this left. And she was like, no, that's not where your apartment is. She's like, I got this. I was like, no, 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 trust me. I was like, I just need you to make this left here. And she was like, well, that's not, I'm like, I know it's not my apartment, but I need you to make a left here. She's like, okay. So she makes the left and I'm like, cut through that parking lot right there. And she's like, where are you taking me? And I was like, just cut through that parking lot. So she starts driving. She's like, where are we going? And she was like, there's nothing over here, but the one, 
Wine vault? And then I started laughing. She's like, you can't, you can't go to the damn wine vault. I'm like, well, I don't want wine. I want beer. I was like, they've got fancy imported beer. I deserve it. She's like, no, you can't. I'm like, if you don't pull up to that. <laughs> so she pulls up. You know, I open my door and I'm like trying to get out. And she's like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, you can't. You just had surgery. She's like, you literally just had surgery. She's like, just sit your ass down. She's like, what do you want? I'll go get it. And she's like, you got to promise me you're not drinking it today, though. I was like, promise. So she got, I tell her what I want. She goes in. She gets it for me. She comes back out. She's like, I can't believe you're going to try to go get out of the car, go up those steps. Get. She's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, the doctor said that I, I can't drink for 12 hours. I'm like, so after that 12 hours, it's fair game. I didn't even wait six. When she left to have to go take care of some shit at home, I seized the opportunity the minute and like I saw her car leave the parking lot. I'm like, oh, woo. But yeah, that's uh that's, that was that was my my alcoholic days. Back in my alcoholic days. But you know, they gave me they gave me some some really good painkillers too. And this is what's upsetting me right now. Monday. This coming Monday, I'm having another hernia surgery. And I know that they're going to give me some really good painkillers because I'm going to need them. I don't like this, though, for two reasons. Reason one is because I am a recovered addict and alcoholic. I used to be severely addicted to, to, to painkillers, like really bad, for a very long time. And come th this coming April... I'm going to be 15 years sober of everything. And I don't like the idea of jeopardizing that. I like to think that I'm strong enough and I'm strong-willed enough that like I, I can handle this. I can take the painkillers responsibly and not develop any kind of like craving or addiction for it. Hopefully that will be the case. Won't know until after surgery. Second reason. Last time... Painkillers constipated me like really bad. This might be TMI, but I couldn't poop for like three days and it started to make me real nervous and worried and shit. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I needed to poop. I, I, it was starting to cause me physical pain from not being able to poop. So, you know, I, I called, I called the doctor's office. I'm like, listen, this is going to sound real messed up, but I can't poop. I'm like, I haven't pooped in like three days. The nurse is like, well, Take a laxative or drink some coffee or whatever you got to do. She was like, uh, you, you got to get that out. She was like, it's because of the painkillers. The painkillers are constipating you. I'm like, oh, well, shit. I was like, okay. So I call my friend up, the same friend I was talking about from the story. And I'm like, look, I need you to go to the gas station for me. And I need you to get the biggest coffee drink they have. Something hot. Something maybe mocha, like one of those like cappuccino things from the gas station. I'm like, get me a huge one of those and do it fast. I got to dump. And she was like, what? what? I was like, well, I'm, I need to dump. And the only way that's going to happen is if you bring me this drink. And she's like, that is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever heard. But she's like, all right, I'm on it. So sure enough, she gets the drink. She brings it to me. I, I drink that shit. Fast as hell, and I'm on the toilet. It's going down, down the toilet. Um, yeah, so I figured that's probably going to happen again this time. I'm going to get constipated from painkillers. So I did a test run tonight, and I went and I bought this, like, drink, this coffee, uh, like, mocha iced coffee drink. 1850 is the brand or the name of it or something. I don't know. But I figured if I drink that and it makes me like have to poop, then I know it's good and I can go get another one and I can have that on hand for after surgery, after like the second day when I'm like, oh no, I can't poop. Then I got, I got my arsenal ready to flush my system out. You know, cause me and coffee, my tongue, my stomach and coffee don't really get along so well. That shit runs right through me. And let me put the emphasis on the word shit. Um, if I'm going to be drinking coffee, I'm, I need to know that I'm hanging out someplace that I'm not going to be leaving for a while and that it's going to be 
in close proximity to a bathroom. Because that's just me. I love coffee, though, but that's the effect. Like, when people are like, let's go out for coffee, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'll just have an energy drink. Or I'll just have a Coke Zero or something. Like, I can't do coffee in public because I will be pooping. But, yeah, so on the subject of all of this, as I said, Monday I'm having surgery, so I'm going to be down for a little while. Yes, that is correct. I am not going to be making any videos because I'm going to be pretty much in bed most of the time wishing that I wasn't in pain. That's pretty much how that's going to go. But also right now my studio is currently down. Somehow I managed to send my desktop into the void. It is, it, it's just not there. Somehow when I was trying to set up two monitors, I created a third monitor that doesn't exist, and I sent the desktop there. Now I can't recover it. Hopefully I've got somebody coming over this weekend that does know how to recover it, though, and can get that going for me so I can get back to making content and editing, because I swear I feel like a, a fiend right now that's like, I feel like like a, like a junkie trying to get fixed because all I can think about is editing, and it's like I can't edit, I can't make videos, I can't do anything, you know? It's like, you know what I'm passionate about? Making content. You know what I love about making content? Editing. I can't do that right now. I've, I've even, so I've got my laptop, right? I can make videos. I can, I got editing software on my laptop. I can make video, but I don't have all the stuff that I have on my desktop that I use. Like all the goodies, all the like royalty free, like sounds and like jump scares and all the atonal long drones that I have in the background, you know, all, all, all sorts of neat little effects, all the stuff that I use to just give my editing that depth and that beef, you know, it, I can't get to it. So it's like, I feel like my edits using my laptop are just weak and unfulfilling. It's just sad. Cause like uh, me and my friend Tim filmed like all this amazing footage the other day and I was like super excited about using that but a lot of the stuff that I need because of the type of footage that it is is all on my desktop so it's like it's not going to have the same impact if I just like edit it and I'm, it's driving me crazy because this has the potential to be so good I, was, I know I sound crazy as fuck right now and that is okay I'm okay with that I just want to get back to editing and making reaction videos because I know that I'm, I'm going to end up missing out on a bunch of a bunch of shit's going to come out. People are going to be waiting like, where's Damien with this? I'm having surgery and I don't have a studio right now. So this is where we are. This is what we're doing with my cat. Yes, yeah, But in lighter news, the... Uh, Official Moral Militia merch shop is now open, and I will post a link for that in the description. But there's a ton of really killer prints. There's some all-over prints. Just a bunch of great designs. I, I did them all myself. I'm super proud of it. And if you want to, you know, pledge your allegiance to the cult, go pick something up today and, uh, you know, rock that. Send me pictures, whatever you got to do. Uh... I fully support all of it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we got cool stuff like the uh, the Halloween print, the exclusive Halloween print. Um, we got Sleep is Like Death Without the Commitment. We've got my mental health status. We've got my Smirnoch Project logo. We've got my Hated Project logo. We've got Dead Inside. We've got It's a Cult. we got a bunch of really good stuff. And when I say we, I mean me, Damien. Me and I, I and myself. So yeah, go shopping. Just do it. The people of the interweb. I'm back.